Today in the Makerspace, we will be doing what? <laughs> we've got magnets, we've got batteries, we've got copper wire, we've, we've got, got the power! <laughs> Today, we're exploring a fun and simple experiment you can do at home. We will be making what's called a homopolar motor with household batteries, copper wire, and neodymium, or rare earth magnets. While this kind of homopolar motor doesn't have any practical uses, similar designs are what generate electricity in wind turbines. Okay, so we've got this whole list of things. What are we gonna do with them? Well, we're playing with magnets and we're making the simplest motor ever. Do you wanna see? Do you take some neodymium? <laughs> neodymium? Neodymium batteries. What did it say again? Magnet. Neodymium magnets. Neodymium. <laughs> and then you put it on the what? negative side of your AA battery. Ah, the negative side. The Very negative good, side. okay. And what have we done to the positive side here? I used a pair of pliers to make a little groove on the positive side of the battery. Why did you do that? Well, we need it so this copper wire can stay steady on the battery. So if it's just sticking up like that, it just falls off. Mm -hmm. Got it. So, so how do I do it? off with a regular copper wire. Okay, copper wire. We have to fold it in the right way. So if we look at Lily's, you'll see that there's a little bit of an indent in the middle. Ooh. Almost like a heart. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. And then fold the inner two in the opposite way, so when you put it on top of the battery, the opposite ends both touch the magnets at the bottom. If all goes to plan, the electric current will run through the battery and the copper wire. The force will push the wire, causing it to spin around and around. Before you start, be careful, as this motor can generate some heat when it's running. Now let's give it a try. Okay, ready? It up. Amazing! Amazing! Oh, this is so brilliant. Well, that failed. The batteries and the magnets were set up properly, but the wire wasn't touching on both sides of the magnets, so the electricity couldn't flow. Let's try again. Put it on the opposite side, and then it will spin. There oh, we wow. go! Wow! <laughs> it's going so fast. What I wonder going? what makes the wire go so fast. Is it the amount of magnets or where it's touching? What if we put a bigger battery? On? Let's yeah, see that. Try bigger batteries as well. As in all maker okay. space, bigger so is let's, better. There it is. We got it. Oh, nice. Ah, yeah, that was really wow. nice. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Nice. What if you have two batteries? How would that? Look? Like if you stacked up two batteries. Oh, look. That should. Is that touching? Yeah. There we oh. go. Oh, I think wow. that's lasting oh, longer. So, uh, wow, I think that's it's trying what it to take is. Off. That's the trick to have both of the wires touching. And the, and by and when they're touching, they're sort of holding it in place. Yeah. Aren't they? So, so uh, even though the battery is like wobbling, it's yeah. kind of keeping it like a border. Well done. That was so much fun. Try making your very own and experiment with different wire designs.